guys welcome to this quick little information video about the flight factor 777 version 2 today i want to talk with you about some development news from the flight factor twitter and discord and what we can expect from the finished product so without wasting any more time let's hop straight into the twitter feed of flight factor so flight factor recently released two development pictures of the cabin two are showing the cabin in game and two are showing the texture data files for the seats and we will see something special in every four of those pictures so stay tuned so here we go the first picture of the release this is the triple seven version 2 first class cabin which looks pretty pretty cool the seats are looking awesome the detailing is great and I can spot something special about this picture. Do you see it? There are oxygen masks hanging from the top of the aircraft, which is pretty cool. That means we are able to release oxygen masks or they will be automatically released um, when we lose pressure or whatever. Um, Actually not the first time that Flight Factor is working with emergency equipment, as we can see on the 757 and 767, we have um, the retractable oxygen mask for the pilot. Um, they are actually working, which is pretty cool. And on the 777 we already have emergency slides that can be deployed when you are opening the doors without setting them to manual, which is pretty cool. So, we can see the Flight Factor cabin. Um, for me, a well done cabin is also a great thing because, especially in a 777, I love to do long haul flights. And during these flights, I like to move around the cabin, just have a look. And yeah, I think that is pretty cool. And you also can set up some really cool aircraft views. So, let's hop straight into the next picture. Here, we also got a picture of the cabin, but this time the economy class which has also the um, oxygen mask hanging from the top of the aircraft the seats are modeled very nice and they are detailed very nice so nothing more to say about this picture let's hop straight into the next one now we are going to see the texture data files and we can see something interesting about that about them i'm sorry um well, we can see three seats, economy seats, one, two, three, on the outer rows, and another three. Um, they have, an, have a weird amount of masks hanging down. And yeah, okay, but I just spotted that lol. But I got something, something else that's pretty interesting. And I give you a second to find it out yourself. Okay, so we can see these are three normal sized seats yeah nothing special but if we have a closer look we can see like there are eight seats and they are pretty small so what could it be we could also count one two three four seats or we could count one two three so what I'm leading you to is that we probably, well not probably, pretty sure going to have a customizable cabin in the new version 2 of the 777, which is awesome. Really awesome. Another theory that just came to my mind because I saw those ridiculous amount of oxygen masks and the few layers of the oxygen mask dispensers and the weird looking like head part is that we have different types of seed not just the amount but also different types which would be very cool if you ask me for now i would say one two three four different types of seeds maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right i hope that i'm right so maybe I can guess the possible configurations at least for the amount of seats you're going to have or you will be able to have in your cabin. Um, as you can see those are um, half seats, eight half seats 
because the armrest is like splitting them into two seats. So we can count from this one, one, two, three, four, which would mean we would have a three, four, three configuration, or we could count a bit from more from the middle, one, two, three, which would mean we would have, we would be able to put a three, three, three configuration in the cabin. So I'm very excited for this and I'm excited to find out if I'm right or if I'm wrong. So let's have a look at the next picture, which is also a texture data file, which shows the first class. So same thing. We can see we have two of the um, oxygen mask dispensers and the seats are also looking very weird again. So my theory, again, we have two different first class seats, one a bit smaller, one a bit bigger, as we can see of the differences of the blends or however you want to call them and of the um, yeah table, uh, not table armrest. Um, pretty cool. If it's really that customizable, that this would be incredibly awesome. Okay, so this was it for the Twitter feed. So now, for everybody who is asking themselves, how is the new cockpit going to look? Because the actual one is looking like, yeah, well, let's not talk about the actual one. So I can answer that pretty easily. You just have to look up or if you own it, join or uh, start the Flight Factor Boeing 767-400 um, because those cockpits are very similar. I will try to put some pictures in here. Um, as you can see, there are just minor differences from the lower consoles. For example, the autopilot is located a bit different. Um, in the 777, we would have three FMCs instead of two. And yeah, what's completely different is the overhead panel. They have nothing in common, um, at least for optics. But yeah, well, they should all also stay different planes because the 767 is a 767 and a 777 is a 777. Another question that I, ca that I came by a lot was, will there be a 777 MAX on release? Of course, I'm not a member of Flight Factor. I can't give you a 100% answer, but I... I'm pretty sure that I can give you a 99% answer because the 777 Max is not even like released in real life. There are four concept planes that are flying around and working on their airline certificates or however they are called and they have a concept cockpit, concept avionics and yeah because of that I don't think that there will be a 777 Max unreleased. But I think because the 777 MAX is similar to the 787 and Flight Factor is already working on a 787, I think that Flight Factor will release the 777 MAX in the future because it wouldn't be that much of, yeah, of an act to just combine those two aircrafts. Which would be pretty cool if you ask me. So the last point for today when will it be released and this is a question i came by well probably it's the most asked question let's say it like that and i'm asking myself the same thing and i promise you i've searched the flight factor twitter and discord for hours to find an answer or to just find a hint and i found one i found a few and i think like i can give you a time span when it will be released um, on some facts I found on the Flight Factor Discord. So first of all, we got a little message in the development channel or the Flight Factor updates channel um, that says Boeing 777 and an arrow that points to the top directly under the date of the message. And the arrow points directly on the 2022 so i think because of an earlier message about the boeing 767 400 where the arrow points on the 7th of the july 
um, and it was released in July, obviously, that we will definitely get it in um, 2022. But there is no particular release date, like month or day um, for now. I don't think that we will get the plane before X-Plane 12 is released. The other theory I have is that they will be released together. But I don't think that since X-Plane 12 is awaited or is expected to be released um, by the end of this month or by the end of August. And yeah, one and a half month before the 767-400 was released, uh, we received some pictures of the cockpit, of the um, aircraft fuselage itself and stuff like that and we don't even have that from the 777. We don't know how far they are with the avionics and stuff like that. So I think it will be released probably October or the beginning of November. This is what I would suggest. Hopefully I'm wrong. And it will be released like next month or something. But that's pretty unrealistic. So that was it all for today. I hope I could help you. I hope I could help you to get some like visual images. Of how the aircraft how the aircraft will be when it's, uh, when it's released. And I hope I gave you some excitement. And some hype. Until the next time. Have a nice day.